Hi folks, how's it going? This is Mike, also known as Gray1951, and uh, I'm here to do another video in the series of movies from A to Z, or A to Z if you prefer to call it that. And uh, it's just a movie, each letter of the alphabet, so if anybody watches this and would like to play along, it's, uh, it's kind of a cool project. So, And we're all just starting out now, we just got done with the A film and now we're doing letter B. So, let's go. And uh, I'm choosing a film from the year 2001 that I don't think was terribly well known. And when I bought it at Big Lots for $3, I had never heard of it. And I, I didn't know anything about it. And uh, I was very, very impressed when I saw it. The film is called The Body. Okay. Hope you can see that. The Body. And it stars Antonio Banderas and Olivia Williams. The film was directed by Jason McCord, who also wrote the uh, screenplay. And the cinematography was by Vilmos Zygmunt, one of the best in the business. And that's probably enough to recommend it to at least uh, give it a cursory viewing just to look at the uh, photography. Okay, so this film. The story is, in modern day Jerusalem, during a, a building and excavation project, an ancient tomb is unearthed and they, they send in... The, the Israeli uh, authorities bring in um, an archaeologist to investigate. The archaeolo archaeologist is played by Olivia Williams. She's a Jewish Israeli citizen. And <clears throat> after what she finds, she consults one of her fellow archaeologists in Israel, um, who is, um, I think he's supposed to be an American citizen, and he's not Jewish. And he decides to go to the site with her, okay? So he happened. She's waiting for him at the site, and he arrives with a Roman collar. She had no idea that this guy was also a Catholic priest, as well as being an archaeologist. Anyway, that's not, that's not a very important plot point, but they go in to investigate the tomb together. He comes out in total shock. There are so many things about this, this tomb and the body in the tomb that indicate that it could very well be the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the, the body was crucified. It has a piercing in one of its sides. It has marks around its head where it looks like it could have been a crown of thorns. They find uh, artifacts that date it to the year 32 AD or 33 AD. And <clears throat> just all sorts of different things. And he, he is just in total shock. So after this, the Israeli authorities and the Vatican, not surprisingly, they, they all get involved. And the Vatican, Vatican, of course, is a little bit concerned because in Christian teaching, <clears throat> there is no body of Christ in a tomb anywhere. Uh, he rose from the dead, he ascended to heaven, he's still living, he's coming back at the end of time. And if, if, this, is, if this is proven to be the body of Jesus, then it would the whole Christian existence would just implode upon itself. So they send in another priest, who is also an historian, to go to Israel and, and work with this, this uh, woman and <clears throat> try to find out the truth. And the priest is uh, Father Matt Guterres, who is played by Antonio Banderas. And it, it's interesting that the film, it, a lot of it kind of unfolds as a mystery, because they keep finding clues, they keep finding more and more things that indicate that, well, this could be the body of Jesus, well, maybe it's not the body of Jesus, and they just kind of, step one, step two, take a step forward, take a step back. It's really interesting the way it happens. And it also shows the uh, relationship between these two people because they're very, very different. Um, the, the doctor, played by Olivia Williams, appears to be a very secularized Israeli citizen who's not terribly religious. And for her, all she, well, it's just another project. She wants to investigate and find out the truth. She wants to learn as much as she can and then let the world know what she's found. And she has no emotional attachment to whether this is the body of Jesus or not. Some, someone that she doesn't believe in in the first place. It's not a big moral problem for her. For the priest, excuse me, of course, it's just the opposite. It, everything that he has based his entire life on would be destroyed. So they have, they have kind of an... They're, they're very uh, wary of each other when they first meet. There's a little bit of antagonism. And but slowly they start to trust each other. They start to care about each other as human beings, and <clears throat> he begins to understand what this means to her, and she begins to understand how important this is to him to prove that it's not the body of Jesus. So it's, it's a very interesting relationship. 
And a, the, the film has a lot of other things going on, little subplots. It has it has everything. It has Vatican intrigue. It has uh, religious extremism. It has political <clears throat> infighting. It has the whole Israeli-Palestinian conflict going on around the story. And everybody wants... As, as the news of what's going on in this excavation project that has discovered a tomb um, is, is uncovering, it slowly gets out to more and more groups. The Palestinian uh, political machine that is trying to get something done, the, the Israeli government that is trying to get something done, as, as more information comes out, everybody wants to get a piece of this body, right? So <clears throat> all, this, all this fighting and infighting are going on. So I, I find it to be a very fascinating story, and a very very moving form, uh, yeah, performance by Antonio Banderas. And I know a lot of people are not interested in religious stories, and, and a lot of people are offended by anything that has to do with religion. And I, I I really get that, but I also think that this story can be looked at. This this film could probably be watched by people who don't believe in anything at all, and you would still find it to be a fascinating story and a fascinating. Um, set of characterizations of, of the different people in the story. So I would highly recommend it if you haven't seen it already. Um, the, as I said, the photography is absolutely beautiful. Great shots of Jerusalem. I've, I've certainly never been to Jerusalem and I probably will never go, but it's had some of the best you know, aerial shots of, of the buildings and all that. I mean, just really fantastic. And oh, as, as a piece of trivia, which may not interest a lot of people, one of the producers of the film is a guy named Mark Damon, who used to be an actor in, in films like uh, House of Usher and Black Sabbath. And a very good actor, a very good looking actor too, but he um, later on became a very successful film producer and, and still is today. So, okay. So that's my B film. <laughs> Literally, B film. I found, I, did, I, did I say that I found this at Big Lots? I guess I did, I don't know. For three bucks without knowing anything about it. It was just uh, a blind buy. And usually when I when I buy things like that at Big Lots or, or Dollar General or whatever, I usually find some very interesting things. So, okay, The Body, check it out. Thanks for watching.